Now, this is, of course, the 18 G20 leaders summit where uh, global leaders have arrived and world leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden, U.K. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, Japanese PM Kishida and Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres have reached the venue for the summit. The leaders will come together on one stage amid divisions in the grouping over the Russia-Ukraine war and China's ambitions in the Indo-Pacific and the South China Sea. Now, they are, of course, expected to discuss many topics uh, from climate change, debt architecture to currency regulation, food and energy security besides sustainability. Prime Minister Modi will also hold meetings with leaders of Comoros, Turkey, UAE, South Korea, European Union, Brazil and Nigeria. Prime Minister Modi is also expected to do a pull-aside meeting with Canadian President Justin Trudeau, who's also arrived at the Bharat Mandapam. And on September 10, he will have a lunch meeting with President, French President Macron. And uh, Prime Minister Modi has, in fact, already held bilateral talks with heads of Bangladesh and Mauritius. You know, we have uh, taken the G20 right down to the grassroots level in India. Uh, the Prime Minister's vision has al always been that the G20 should not be uh, a, a, an event held only in the capital city. This should involve uh, the length and breadth of our country in terms of participation. Uh, we, have, uh, we are going to, by the end of our presidency, we will have hosted G20 meetings in 60 different cities of our country. Every state and union territory would have hosted at least one G20 meeting. And from that point of view, wherever we've taken the G20, the people of that state or that area have become stakeholders and partners in the G20 process. There's also been a Jan Bhagidari process. These mediums have enabled us to take the message of our G20 presidency right down to the grassroots level, making sure that every citizen today, in some ways, is associated with the G20. And uh, as the Prime Minister mentioned the other day, he says at least one and a half crore citizens of ours have been directly associated with the G20 in one form or the other. Out of the leadership vision and out of the, the thoughts and suggestions from the political leadership, we developed an organizational plan. Uh, it was decided to uh, give focus on people, take all meetings to all states and union territories. And that's how we made a plan to have more than 200 meetings in uh, 60 locations. We have uh, an experience of conducting more 100, 200 meetings across India. Well, I think the bilateral relationship is in, in good health and Prime Minister Modi and I are keen to deepen and broaden our relationship. The FTA is an obvious way for us to do that, which is why it remains our priority. And as I said, hard work to go, but I hope we, we can conclude a successful FTA. I think we can strengthen our security relationship as well. That's something that I've spoken to the Prime Minister about. And then something I'm particularly excited about is increasing the collaboration between our incredible researchers, our scientific community, our universities. The UK and India are two of the leading science technology superpowers of the world. And I think if we work more closely together, we can create jobs, create new businesses and help solve some of the world's most pressing problems. Well, as the G20 summit kicks off in Delhi, many routes in the national capital have been diverted. In fact, in view of the diversions, the Akshardham flyover is shut today to keep the traffic movements in check. Meanwhile, security checks are being done by the police across Delhi and CR region. My colleague Abhishek brings us this report. Rajani Delhi mein G20 ki tayari puri ho chuki hai aur aaj se aapcharik rup se G20 ki shuruat ho jayegi. Sare rashtra dhaksh Bharat pahunch chuke hain aur aaj se jo summit hai, wo apne peak pe hoga aur kai sare bilateral talks bhi aaj hone hain. Iske madde nazar Delhi ki suraksha jo hai kafi chako chaban ki gayi hai. देखिए दिल्ली नोएडा बॉर्डर है जहां मौजूद हैं और यहां पे दिल्ली पुलिस के जवान आपको दिखाई देंगे उत्तर प्रदेश पुलिस के जवान आपको दिखाई देंगे और लगातार जो भी गाड़ियां यहां से गुजर रही हैं उन सभी गाड़ियों पे मॉनिटरिंग की जा रही है 
एक एक गाड़ी जहां पे जा रही है कौन जा रहा है कहां जा रहा है आईडी कार्ड्स है या नहीं इसके अलावा जो भी प्रॉपर डॉक्यूमेंट्स है उसे चेक किया जा रहा है इसके अलावा देखिए एक एक गाड़ियों को यहाँ पे देख देख के खोल खोल के जो है वो चेक किया जा रहा है कि डिक्की के अंदर जो है वो कुछ सामान तो नहीं है या फिर कोई ऐसा शख्स तो यहाँ पे नहीं पहुंचा है जो हालात यहाँ पे बिगाड़ सके कुछ यही माहौल आपको दिल्ली के हर एक बॉर्डर पर देखने को मिलेगा दिल्ली पुलिस बेहद ही सतर्क है क्योंकि जिस तरीके से जी ट्वेंटी का आयोजन भारत में हो रहा है उसको लेकर जो सुरक्षा व्यवस्था है वो काफी ज्यादा चाकू चौबंद की गई है देखिए आप इस गाड़ी को जैसे रुकाया गया है और इसकी तलाशी ली जा रही है कि गाड़ी के अंदर क्या है कौन बैठा हुआ है क्या इनके पास प्रॉपर लाइसेंस है या नहीं जो आई कार्ड से वो है या नहीं और कहा जा रहे हैं इन सभी बातों की जानकारी ली जा रही है और उसके बाद देखिए आप जिस तरीके से इस डब्बे को जो है चेक किया जा रहा है इस इको वैन को देखिए यहाँ पे अब खोला जा रहा है चेक किया जा रहा है कि अंदर क्या क्या सामान मौजूद है क्या लेके जा रहे हैं और कुछ उसी तरीके से देखिए यहाँ पे एक बॉक्स है ये सब देखा जा रहा है कि क्या है क्या कुछ छिपा तो नहीं है कोई जो आपत्तिजनक वस्तु है वो तो नहीं है या फिर कोई असामाजिक तत्व तो नहीं घुस रहा है इन सभी बातों का ध्यान दिल्ली पुलिस रख रही है और उनके सहयोग के लिए नोएडा पुलिस भी जो है वो यहाँ नजर आ रही है My colleague uh, Pragya joins us with more information on this. Uh, Pragya, the G20 summit, of course, is kicking off, and uh, heads of states, dignitaries, bureaucrats, all top world leaders are now arriving. But what really stands out is the way the Prime Minister is greeting everyone, and really goes on to show his personal equations with all of these top leaders. absolutely the way prime minister has greeted every each one of them in fact they if you could just see they were walking through the cultural corridor so they have been given a sort of experience of india's culture civilization and also uh, you know the growth that india has done they are coming through that corridor seeing the ancient civilization of india so they they have come they have greeted prime minister prime minister hugged them shook hands and that is how the meeting is going to begin and if you uh, if you have seen in the background there is a, a wheel of konark signifying time kal chakra and also the ancient marvels of uh, civilizational uh, you know the, the the kind of work that has been done during uh, in, during that period and also uh, the intricacies of that art it sh it symbolizes showcases what india had in the past as well so it is uh, not that india has progressed just now uh, we had this progress uh, we were uh, we were uh, a Uh, an ancient civilization uh, with a lot of uh, uh, you know richness and richness to to our tradition that was uh, a symbol the konark wheel was the symbol of that and that is why it was deliberately chosen uh, as the background of this meeting where prime minister shook hands with all the heads of the nation uh, the meeting is going to begin we have certain bilaterals also and pull aside meeting also it's a very crucial meeting prime minister has called g20 presidency of india's people presidency as you have heard uh, mr harsh singla who said that there are almost 1.7 lakh people who have directly and directly participated in arrangements of this g20 summit so it's a people's participation jan bagidhari has been ensured everyone should feel that it is their uh, con contribution to the uh, india's presidency as well so all of that has been taken care of plus india will be putting very sensitive issues and also issues that are very crucial for the global economy uh, they are uh, india has managed in fact it's a legacy of india as india has managed to bring about crypto uh, assets uh, framework to the table and leaders would be discussing this it means that there will be uh, there it has major implication on tariff funding and also implication on how the economies may be impacted it has to mitigate the impact on uh, in on economies in future so this crypto bill is a legacy that india has brought in also india has ensured that the multilateral development banks are reformed and they cater to the relevant needs of 21st century uh, earlier the framework and the uh, uh, the out you know the their uh, outcome uh, and the output is uh, bent towards the developed economies which is not acceptable to the 21st century as uh, india wants uh, even in fact they want g20 to spread and uh, to expand it for the other nations as well uh, prime minister said that asian union should be included in that we have invited many countries uh, to participate and not to see where how can the benefit from the g20 
ट्वेंटी नेशन समिट वट आर दर कंसर्न वेदर देर कंसर्न आर इंक्लूडेड इन दो पॉलिसीज और नॉट इफ नॉट हाउ कैन इट बी इंक्लूडेड एंड हाउ कैन दीज अमर्जिंग इकोनॉमीज टैप एट द राइट टाइम एंड दे विल बी हेल्प इन बिकमिंग अ प्रॉस्परस इकोनॉमीज सो ऑल ऑफ दिस इज ऑन द टेबल एंड वी आर वेटिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टेबल डिस्कशन विच इज ऑन वन अर्थ टू स्टार्ट एसेंशियली आर लोगो सेंग वसुधैव कुटुंबका मीन्स वन अर्थ वन फैमिली वन फ्यूचर इट मीन्स वी आर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ क्लाइमेट फॉर एवरी वन वी वॉन्ट एवरी वन टू फ्लरिश इट इज इंक्लूसिव सस्टेनेबल गोल्स Absolutely, Pragya. Very valid point there that you made about the cultural corridor that has been set up uh, from where the leaders are arriving, and India, of course, uh, showing its own culture in in a very proud manner with the theme as well, which says uh, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Let me take that point across to my colleague Rishab, who is also joining us from Bharat Mandapam. Rishab, uh, in just a while from now, we'll have the first uh, session which will start, and of course. this will be the one earth session and the focus will be on the climate action uh, the need for a climate action given the fact that everyone's talking about development but sustainable development that needs to be on the focus and clearly india is now ready to take that discussion forward in fact not just take that discussion forward lead it forward as well well definitely if you uh, talk about uh, the first session one earth Or in the seven uh, prior six priorities that India has uh, doled out in front of the member countries. SDG Sustainable Development Goals are the priority, as well as uh, climate action and climate financing. At the One Earth session, we'll hear much on the on these lines, and the leaders would be discussing and uh, you know fire, go, move toward the declaration on these lines as well. India has maintained very clearly that it has to be inclusive, decisive, and action oriented uh, declaration, and hence climate uh, sustainable development and development that is led by women. Uh, are the three things that uh, will be discussed in the first session and these leaders will uh, try and uh, move for toward a declaration on these issues in the first session then there is second session which is one uh, family one family when it comes to uh, they, they want to talk about how territorial integrity is how uh, you know people to people contact mobility issues need to be uh, streamlined among the member countries and that is something that will come up in the second session as well there are bilaterals as well Uh, as well lined up as pragya was also uh, pointing out india uk when it comes to india uk there are three things that need to be discussed uh, between these countries and three important things actually the first one is the fta free of uh, free trade agreement that is you know has been pending for quite some time the day rishi sunak took over as prime minister of united kingdom that was actually the deadline for the fta to be signed since then we haven't heard uh, you know much on it there have been meetings definitely between india and uk on that uh, india and uk at this bilateral meeting would like to streamline that second is the mobility issue how easy will it become for indians to get a uk visa remember there was a time when the eu visa wait was about 2 years the high commissioner uh, had discussed about, uh, this with the foreign ministry and has assured that the uh, waiting time will be reduced that thing will definitely come up when the leaders meet the third and most important one the khalistan issue you know we have seen khalistan for you know extremism in uk against india um, an attack on high commission as well uh, earlier this year that will definitely be discussed rishi sunak has already said that he won't tolerate any such activity on uk soil but definitely the, when the leaders meet these things will definitely be discussed when it comes to japan india and japan well, have been regularly meeting you know be, be it uh, uh, miss Well, absolutely. Thanks a lot, Rishab, uh, for getting us all of that information about uh, the agenda today at the G20 summit. Of course, it is kicking off. Uh, we are seeing how delegates and top world leaders are now arriving at the Bharat Mandapam, and how first there will be a session, a one Earth session, followed with bilaterals with uh, UK, Japan, and Italy. But uh, we'll keep a focus on that. Meanwhile, it's time to shift our focus to some other major development from across the nation.